A couple of days ago, we had made a video on Claude Dev, which is a code agentic framework, and it could be integrated into VS Code as an extension. It's capable of generating full stack applications within the ID itself, and it recently had received a really big update with the new prompt caching update from Anthropic, where it's 90% cheaper and 85% faster for generation. Now, how is this possible? Well, it's basically because it stores and reuses prompts, which will result in a massive cost saving and increases speed improvement. And guess what? With the release of Anthropic's new update, it's not only prompted a new update for Cloud Dev, but it also prompted a new update for a prominent AI coding based framework that many of us use continuously. An AI pair programmer in your terminal called Ader which is also receiving many new updates this past week. And this is something we will be uncovering throughout today's video. For the people who do not know, Ader lets you pair program with large language models to edit and generate code. And it's possibly the best coding based framework that's out there. Now I have made multiple videos where I build full stack apps with Ader with just a single prompt and it's capable of so many more things with this new update. To start off, let's take a look at Ader's self-written code. A notable highlight where Ader itself wrote 45% of the code in this latest release. A significant increase from previous versions where it contributed between 5-30%. to And this self-improvement feature is largely due to the advancements in the Sonnet model. And it showcases that Ader's growing autonomy and efficiency in the development process just keeps on getting better and better. There is ability for you to actually add clipboard images. You can simply use this command slash add and you're going to be able to add images to the chat from your clipboard, which is really big. There's also a new powerful infinite output feature for deep sea coder, mistral and anthropic models, where it's going to allow for continuous large scale code generation without a token limitation. This is quite big because it's going to leverage a larger token output and an improved chat mode for more flexible interactions. There's an enhancement for web scrapping, robustness in token usage, as well as cost reporting. So you have these cool new features being introduced. And like I mentioned before, with the new Anthropic update being integrated within CloudDev, the same thing has been integrated within Ader with the new prompt caching, where for the first time, it's gonna significantly enhance responses, as well as the speed and efficiency, where it's gonna store frequently used prompts and with this update within Ader, it's going to allow for faster processing of repeated requests, which is going to reduce the need for regeneration. It'll also improve the overall performance and the resource management, and it's going to make Ader more responsive during extended sessions. There is a new ability to also run shell commands, and it's going to allow for you to launch browsers, install dependencies, running database migrations, executing programs, and even test cases directly within the tool. It's going to also add features such as expansions for read and drop displaying different active chat modes. It's going to have reset features, commands to clear chat, and it's also going to have a repo map management so that it's basically improved with the new option and it's going to allow for better enhancements. Now, there's also going to be an enhancement to include better token reporting. So you'll get better ideas as to how much tokens have been used as well as different sorts of reporting formats, such as auto commit sequencing fixes, as well as updated frequencies. And like I mentioned before, it just keeps on writing code for itself. And you can see that Ada wrote 68% of the code in this release, which is just nuts. Also, not a lot of people know about this feature, but you can actually access Ada within your browser. And this is something that I'm gonna be showcasing throughout today's video. Now, before we get started, I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that we'll be releasing this week. So before we get started, there's a couple of things that you're going to need to have beforehand. These are prerequisites such as having Git installed, an application that will help us with the ability to install it. You're going to need to have Python as well as VS Code. So install these things and once you have all of them installed, we can then proceed forward. Now, the reason why I want you to install VS Code is because you can then integrate the terminal of Ader within VS Code and it will give you a more cleaner and sleeker look. Once you have installed all those prerequisites, what you want to do if you're on Windows, just open up your command prompt. Once that is done, simply just go over to the installation tab or the docs 
which I'll leave a link to, as well as all the other links that I use in today's video in the description below. Once you are here, if you're on Windows, simply install Aether by copying this, but if you're on Mac OS, you want to follow through with the commands over there. Now, what you want to do is just simply paste it in and click enter. This will start installing Aether, and once it finishes doing that, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to configure the model of your choice. Now, I've made a video where I showcase how you can utilize Open or Olama as well as local models so that you don't need to utilize GPT-4 Omni or Anthropic to basically utilize Aether. And it's basically going to be free of charge because you're going to be utilizing local models to host Aether. But in the case you want to do that, just watch this video where I showcase how to install Olama with Aether. And this is something that you can easily get started with right away. What we're going to be doing is utilizing the Cloud 3.5 Sonnet model. So in this case, we would have it as set and drop it API key since we're on Windows. And we're going to paste in our key over here. So simply paste this command into your command prompt and just click enter. Once you have done that, you have set your key and you can simply start up Aether by just simply typing in Aether into your command prompt. And there you go. Now, in this case, I generated a calculator app where I told it to create me a calculator app. And this is where it created me a file, calculator.js. So let's actually go take a look at this. And there you go. You have your calculator app where it's going to be able to do different calculations for you. And this was something that I generated with one single prompt. Now, there's so much more to this. And I definitely recommend that you take a look at my previous videos on Aether because it goes further in detail and showcases almost every feature where we've basically utilized many of these features and commands to showcase the capabilities of Aether. Now, I'll also reference their documentation in the links below because this way you'll be able to configure various components such as the LMs. You'll get a lot more information on the performance of this framework where you are to compare it with other sorts of coding based frameworks. And it also shows you which models work the best in certain areas. But that's basically it for today's video, guys. Now, this video, I'm actually going to take the time to compare Claude Dev to Aether. Now, in my opinion, I definitely prefer Claude Dev over Aether, not because it is 20 times better or anything like that, but it's just way more easier to utilize Claude Dev. It's a simple extension that you can implement within VS Code. And you don't need to run any of these different commands that you would have to with Aether, meaning that you wouldn't have to run various commands that you would see, such as adding a file, running a new model, adding a different chat. And this is just more configuration and more headache for a coder. And in this case, with Claude Dev, you can just simply prompt up something and you're going to be able to get a response as well as a generation and an edit made to your whole code base that you open up with NVS code. So in simple terms, it's just easier to apply different changes and it's easier to develop with Cloud Dev rather than Aether. Not saying it is worse, but this is a good pair of programmer that you can make deploy into your own Git repo and you can make the best changes. But I would definitely recommend that you try using Cloud Dev before you utilize Aether and see if you like Cloud Dev more than Aether and that way you can get a better feel as to what you would want to utilize these two frameworks for but that's just my two cents definitely let you guys i would definitely let you guys explore what these two frameworks are about and what it would truly mean to you so i'll leave both of them in the description below so that you can get a chance to check check them out i just want to say thank you so much for watching i'll leave all the links that i use in today's video in the description below make sure you take a look at the patreon page so that you can access different descriptions completely for free Make sure you follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.